to Always Alyssa. How are you guys doing today? I am so excited because I'm back with another art tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw a scrunchie. First, let's take a look of how your finished product is going to look. Here it is when it's all finished. Here's these two real scrunchies and they look pretty similar to the drawing, don't you think? You'll notice that these two scrunchies are pretty much the same size as the one I drew. And that'll bring me to my first tip. When you're drawing this specific art piece, you want to make sure it's pretty similar in size to a real scrunchie. You can make this any different color scrunchie you want, but for this, I'm using red, orange, purple, white, and pink tones. This piece is done using colored pencils, and it's on a toned gray sketchbook. Let's get started! So first we're going to get the approximate shape of the real scrunchie and what size it is and then I'm going to use it as a reference to get all the shapes and curves. Just keep following along and you can use either your scrunchie as a reference or you can use a picture if you want. And just remember scrunchies have a lot of twists and curves and folds in them so keep that in mind when you're drawing. Okay, now you're going to slightly erase your scrunchie so you can barely see it, just so you can still see the pencil lines. And then you're going to add the white highlights in. And remember when you're doing your white highlights, you don't want to color too dark with the white at first. Color very lightly. Now I'm going to start to add some of the darker shades in, and these are all going to be oranges and reds and a little bit of dark magenta. Now I'm going to add in a few purple tones. Okay, now I'm going to start to add in some of the tan colors and the lightish pink colors all around the scrunchie. I'm going to first start off blending light and then go darker. You can even brighten up some of these white highlights if you want to also. So just keep doing what you've been doing this entire time, it's going to look great, and remember, always blend lightly at first until you have a lot of layers, and then you can start to press harder with the colored pencils. Okay, now I'm going to start to use my pencil to make some shadows along the scrunchy edge. And I'm using a little paper tool to blend the pencils if you're wondering what I was using for the shadows, but you can also use a paper towel or even your finger. And just a side note, I use the blending tools for the actual pencil, not the color pencil. This is an important part, whenever you're doing shading with pencils for this type of art, for Prismacolor art, you always want to use a black color pencil a little bit for the shading, and you can't really blend that with a paper towel, so you have to be careful to use it very lightly, but you want to put it very dark next to the edges of the scrunchie to give it a 3D look.
Now I'm going to be adding a few highlights on top of the white highlights I added in the beginning, just with this white gel pen. This part is really important because all of these highlights are going to make this look so much more realistic. Another important thing to remember when you're doing this type of art is you want to have enough contrast between the different colors. Like, you have to make sure you have lots of bright colors, and then your shadows have to be dark enough so it looks 3D. How did you guys like the tutorial? I love anything that's like hair bows or scrunchies, so I thought this would be a perfect tutorial to do, especially using one of my real scrunchies for a reference. That was pretty fun, and it was a lot of fun doing the shading too. Like, it wasn't as realistic until I added shading, and I was like, whoa, it looks way better now. So that was definitely one of my favorite parts. And it's okay if you're not a professional at shading, I'm still learning to do it myself. If you want to work on your shading, you can always just do a practice page where you do a circle and work on shading with some of these tools I'm going to show you. I used the darkest of my pencils that was closest to black. This one is 6B, so it's a lot darker than the other type of pencils that you would normally use. And I used these little paper pencil tools to blend. And that really helps. It gives it a super smooth look. And then at the end, I put a little bit of black in very close to the scrunchie. Another very important part to make this scrunchie look 3D and realistic is highlights. So this is what I used to do my highlights. They're just white gel pens. I have two sizes, eight and 10, one's a little bit bigger. And you can see on these parts where it has a lot more white, that's where I use the gel pens. When you're doing highlights and shadows on your art, you have to think of where the light is coming from. Like here is kind of coming from the top or like right here. So that's why the highlights are on the top of the object and where it's the brightest. And that's also why the shadow's down below. Shadows and highlights can make your art look really realistic. Depending on where your light source is in the picture, your shadows can be in many different places. Like if the light was coming from right here, then all the shadows will be on this side. Well, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you leave a thumbs up because I really appreciate the love. So thank you. And you guys have to make sure to comment and tell me what you want me to draw next or paint next, like watercolor, acrylic, if you want me to do an animal or an object, like a scrunchie, or even some kind of nature scene. So be sure to tell me what you want me to do next, okay? I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye!